This is my 1x3x4 Rubik's Cube Tech Twisty Puzzle. It was designed in SOLIDWORKS and 3D printed on a PrinterBot Simple Metal 3D printer. Turning is uh, decent. It could be, I think, a lot better if it was larger because uh, some of these pieces are really small and they catch. Uh, but uh, I'm satisfied with the turning for now. This is the highest order puzzle that I've made so far uh, with four turning layers uh, on its uh, highest order axis, which is, see, it seems kind of funny that this is the largest puzzle I've made considering that uh, one of those axes, or one of these layers is only one, uh, one across is a one by three by four. But uh, I'm pretty proud of the mechanism I came up with to make this. And uh, since it, it's FDM printable, and for any of you who have a 3D printer at home, or uh, have one available at a local library or school, you can find the files to 3D print this at thingiverse.com, and there should be a link down in the description. It's a pretty easy puzzle to solve, as most floppy puzzles are, where one of the layers is a one. Uh, I basically reduce it to a floppy cube, a one by three by three, and then uh, I can pretty much make random turns from there to restore it to its soft state. And this one right here, it's got uh, only three different colors of stickers, but uh, I applied them in a way that there's still only one unique solution to this puzzle. And uh, you can cut your own stickers and make it a, uh, have any color scheme you want. In fact, some people on Thingiverse have already done that. Uh, so since this has a pretty interesting mechanism that I uh, haven't really seen anywhere else before, I think I'll show it to you really quick. So there's one screw right here. Get this here. This screw, wood screw, and now it comes apart in two halves. These two halves, and I'll show you one of the halves because both halves are pretty much identical. So put this down. This first one comes apart. You have this this here, so this corner piece, which locks into this edge piece here, and that edge piece locks into here. And here I'll show you each piece individually. Uh, these are the four types of pieces on this puzzle. First you have this kind of outer center piece here, which slides into this uh, this edge piece, or I guess center piece. It's kind of difficult to classify types of pieces on this sort of puzzle. And then that creates this, which acts as the center. And then you've got these pieces here. This piece, and I dropped it, this piece you can see how small these uh, internal pieces are. I kind of bent a little bit too, but uh, I've only had one piece break ever, so it's pretty sturdy. I printed it at 100% infill. So that piece slides into that one and just slots into here. And then there's another one of those, goes onto here. And then an identical version down here. These two go together. And take my screw. That's all aligned. And screw that in. And I'll probably make an assembly video at one point since uh, this is a less intuitive mechanism than most of the other puzzles I have on Thingiverse. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now.